Hey folks, Landstrider here. Welcome to another episode of Atom Smasher. I'm here with Darnall. Hey, hey, hey. And today we wanted to look at getting into some digital mining. Now there's actually two options for this in the pack, and we want to let, compare the two. So Dornell's been slaving away over here at the Wall of Machines. We've added a few more things other than our Metallurgic Infruser since the last episode. We've been using that. Uh, of course, the first thing right after that you want to get is obviously going to be the Enrichment Chamber so you can use that to extend your materials. Basically make them, is it 8 or 10 times more effective? 8. 8, eight, eight times eight. more effective. Okay, so... Yeah, so like uh, instead of just throwing redstone straight into this infuser to use with um, osmium and, and iron to make the various stuff, you want to run it through the enrichment chamber first and that'll give you a compressed redstone. And then when you put it in there, you get eight times as many uh, uh, uses as usages out of it. Uh, and then he's also made the osmium compressor. I'm assuming that was a necessary component for one of the components necessary for the digital yeah for the digital miner because you got to make refined obsidian in order to do that you need to compress it with osmium okay so there is a bunch of stuff here in the digital miner so we had to he had to make teleportation cores which are the atomic alloy and again you're going to go through the metallurgic infuser for a bunch of stuff uh, to make the atomic alloy, you need the reinforced alloy, which is diamond, and then, of course, the rich alloy. That's the stuff that we uh, need for so many things. Uh, and then logistical sorters are not that complicated. That's just a piston and some circuits. Uh, of course, steel casing requires rich alloy and steel and osmium. Uh, the other complicated portion of this, of course, we already looked at atomic alloy because that is part of the teleportation core. Uh, but the robot, the robot requires a personal chest. This thing's really nice to have, as far as like a little companion that fo it'll follow you around. He'll pick up stuff for you. Um, he has a he has his own smelting, internal smelting thing, so you can smelt stuff. Uh, he does some really neat stuff, but we're not actually going to use him for that. Um, personal chest, that's steel circuit boards, stuff like that. Uh, I think that actually lets you like have an inventory that's locked to other people so That might actually be a nice thing to have if you're trying to keep your base secure But anyway all this stuff combined is going to give us the digital miner Woohoo! Quest update gold. Oh, okay. Looks like it's been an hour since the last time you were here. Yeah, probably probably yeah hour of game time so the digital miner I'm going to go ahead and set this up down here someplace. In the, probably just in the middle of the floor down here is probably good. Yeah, that, that should work. Because we'll just uh, we'll run be running some power into that. Yeah, and I also did the iron quest and stuff too. <laughs> I was collecting a few coins earlier, obviously. Um, Let's see, what uh, what do we... Oh yeah, that's right, I came up here to get more cable because I don't think I have any cable in my thing. I did manage to get an ender sack in one of the loot chests that I got as, our, as one of the rewards. I thought that was pretty nice. So now I can keep some things in the ender sack and then if I do die, that stuff is still there. That's my, en that's my actual ender chest. So we might want to have an ender chest around the base someplace where we can uh, you know, have a secondary access point to that. In case we die, we can pull stuff back out of there. Um, I might want to make Dornell one of these too, but we before we can actually make one of these, we're going to need to go and find a source of ender pearls. And it shouldn't be too difficult because you can find um, enderman spawners in catacombs, but they are very dangerous places to go and visit. So let me make some cables, and then we'll take a we'll take a quick look at setting up the digital miner, and then we'll go on and set up the other miner there. Although I've never used that one before, so it will be a little bit more of a mystery. I'm doing this one first since I'm a little more familiar with it. Let's see, and I think, and in fact, let's actually get enough to do. Oop, we really we're just completely out of steel. Gonna need some steel, my friend. Gonna need some steel. Oop, that's did right. I use it all up making this stuff? Yes, you did. Like every bit but two. And that probably will be enough to connect. I think that is actually enough to connect the digital miner where I have it set. If not, then I can always move it a little bit closer to the reactor. But there's two points where you can connect power to. Actually, I think, I think yeah, it's probably just these two points on the side right here. The ones with the green 
circle or green 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 square uh, those go there and then I also put an RF monitor yes I should mention this since I'm, I'm like facing it right now there's an RF monitor here and this thing this is really nice now what this does uh, this is a RF tools device and you can see down here I have it set for 90% and I have it set to monitor the fusion controller and when I and it says control uh, control when a redstone signal is to be sent it is whenever it goes less than 90% it starts to it sends a redstone signal which means that the reactor will no longer waste any fuel whatsoever um, whenever the, the per, whenever the power level drops below 90% it kicks on for just a few seconds brings it back up above 90 and then turns back off so we won't be wasting any uh, fuel rods now from this point on. So that's excellent. Um, now let's spend a bunch of fuel because this thing is going to eat a, a lot of power. It should eat a lot of power. So there we go. That should be powered up. Yes, it is. Uh, and now the next thing we need to do is configure it. Now well, there's a lot of ways that we could configure this, uh, but first thing you need to do is hit that config button and then you need to put a new filter in now uh, before we go any further I want to give it the maximum radius which I believe is 32 yes um, it's gonna go all the way down to zero all the way up to level 60 which is fine and the first things that we wanted to look for is lapis and diamonds uh, do we want to say specific things or we just want to just grab everything at this point, we need the lapis and diamonds most importantly right now to continue on doing everything that we need to do. Okay. Then we can have a look for everything else after that. Okay. Well, there's several ways that we can do that. We can tell a specific item stack, which you kind of need something to put there so that you can, uh, you can, t you know, you can tell it, hey, look for this, which we don't have. I don't have either of those things. But there's an easier way for me to do that. I could tell it material. That would be like stone or wood or whatever. I don't want to use that. I could tell it mod ID and tell it to look for all mine things, Minecraft or all things, a nuclear craft. But that's not what I'm want. That's not what I want to do. What I really want to do is use the ore dictionary. And the nice thing about the ore, nice thing about these filters is they will accept wild cards. So wild card is a star. Uh, even though that looks like a sideways X, it's actually a star. And we want lapis lapis and we're just going to do another star at the end just to make sure that it finds anything lapis and if we do that okay now nothing showed up over here so that means something's wrong with my or dictionary thing there so let's let's try it again i'm pretty sure it's because i left i didn't capitalize uh l and if i just maybe without the thing on the end what what happens there there we go so now it is showing lapis, and there's actually several kinds of lapis there. And then, you know, so anything lapis that fits the ore dictionary, this filter will find it and pick it up. Now, hopefully, yeah, I don't think it's going to pick up any of the lapis coolers out of the reactor. That would be bad. <laughs> I don't think I'm down deep enough that it would pick those up, would it? Am I deep, deep enough for that? Anyway, let's save that. It will keep scrolling through there so you can see what exactly that filter is going to collect right um, I am at Y level 47 well it totally would if those fit the or dictionary I'm pretty sure I did not see those as it was scrolling through there it was just uh, lapis blocks and lapis ore so we're good there yeah yeah I think we're good there now the other thing we need to find is diamond so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna go uh, star diamond and hit, hit OK. That's another good one. We're going to keep that. Now this slot over here is if we wanted to fill back in the the areas that we're that we're pulling the ore out. So the, what it's going to happen is it's just going to pull the ore. It's going to like leave a, a blank spot wherever it pulled the ore out. Now if you tell it to, you can have it. Uh, I didn't save that, did I? No. Uh, if you tell it, I want to give an example here, real quick. Uh, oops yeah yeah need to go all the way up I just grab some material here so let's say we wanted to fill it back in with cobblestone because you know it's not hard to get uh, cobblestone you can end up with a ton of it uh, if I can find it in our stuff here why yeah Dornell moved everything around 
There it is. And now I gotta get reused to where everything's at. It's okay. It won't take too long. But anyway, back down here. Got us better organized. Yes, better organized. Uh, hit the config button. Do a new filter or dictionary. We're gonna say uh, star diamond. D I A M O N D. Let's hit that check. I guess it helps if I spell it right. Star D I A M O N. Or hit the right key anyway. Uh, diamond. And then we can say replace that diamond with cobblestone so that way it'll fill back in the gaps and that way you won't have mobs spawning down there or whatever um, and it says require replace no yes we can say we can leave it at no so it doesn't require that there's a material to replace but if it does have the cobblestone in its inventory it will replace it i believe that's how that works you guys could correct me if i'm wrong on this one uh, we'll see here in a few seconds whenever we uh, start this up. So we're going to just do the diamond and the lapis with this, right? I want to throw that piece of block of co that cobblestone in there. And now that we've got it configured and everything like that, I also want to say, do we want silk touch? Or do we want it to just gather the material? Just gather. We don't need silk touch. We don't need silk touch. Okay. Um, auto pull is if you have uh, a chest, like say you want to put a chest full of cobble on the top, it'll automatically pull it in. That way you can, uh, you know, have like, or a drawer or whatever, or some other um, big inventory of, of material that you're using to fill back in with. We could do that. But I think we want to go ahead and just hit the start button. There we go. And you can see that it used a piece of cobble to fill back in the diamond that it found. Now. Within the 32 block radius, there is a total of, there was a total of 84 ore between diamond and lapis. There was a total of 84 for it to mine. So there it goes. It's going to go. It's going to get some diamond. And that is that. Uh, now, later after we get this done, we could probably run it for other specific materials in this radius. But the next thing we really want to do is get the other miner, the the miner that um, that is added by industrial craft. Now there's actually two miners in, by industrial craft. There's this basic one. This is the one most people are not this one. Uh, there's this basic one that most people are familiar with. The old the old miner that has been in IC2 for like forever sends a pipe down, and it just mines a straight line right below it. Um, and I'm assuming that that is still the way that it works. Uh, I don't know because we're not going to even mess with that version and on this because there's no point we already got the digital miner but what we want to compare it to is the advanced miner so first thing i have to do is make this mfe and you can see that the pro the process the uh the recipe was in there a second ago and it was very expensive it requires all those power diamonds and stuff like that now the advanced miner takes two of the original miners an advanced machine casing some advanced alloy and a teleporter. Remember, we got the teleporter as a reward for one of the for completing one of the quests oh, last episode. But that's going to give us the advanced miner, and we want to go check this thing out. So we're going to take it downstairs. We're going to now. This is, I believe, only one block. So for one, it's going to be a little more compact than the digital miner there. So the digital miner does look pretty nice. It didn't used to have a different model. It's a lot more blocky than it used to be. Um, yeah, it used to be a lot smaller, two by two. Did it? No, 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 no. Yeah. It was always a, it was always a three by three by two. Pretty sure, pretty sure. But anyway, we're gonna put, we're gonna power this one up. There we go. It is getting a bunch of power. It can hold four million EU. Okay, and now it has mode blacklist. Um, it has this thing. I'm not sure what that is. A slot there for something. It actually looks like it would take the OV scanner. Maybe it needs an OV scanner? It does look like it needs an OV scanner. Whoa, and it is just spitting out stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. You gotta put a chest on top of it. I guess so. Hmm. Maybe we need to like use the OV scanner and tell it uh, like to do specific stuff? I'm not sure. Not sure how it even mines. Um, switch to silk touch mode. Start miner. 
Restart miner, okay. How do we use this thing? Was it popping out the top? It was it was popping out the top. Mode blacklist. Mode whitelist. Alright, let me let me try something. I think that I need to go and actually activate this scanner like someplace down in the tunnels. Right. What was it popping? What was it? Um, it actually pushed out some dorite and some cobblestone. Um, so I think it was just mining everything in wherever. Yeah, I think it mines everything. Yeah. Well, it has different modes there. So I want to chess I want to try something here. We're gonna run downstairs, and we're gonna go set this OV scanner to a specific location. So I'm gonna come down where I can actually find some some ores at so I can come down and take a look at what I hope is going to happen when I use this. I could be completely wrong about how this works but okay here's a good spot. Here's some coal and some some bauxite. There's a little bit of redstone right there so if I hit the OV scanner right here it's gonna do a scan result. There's the scan result. Now if I take this back up um, could you respond to him real quick and tell him that, uh, that they're just for uh, the sickness for for cyberware? If you're trying to overdo your enhance enhancements, that's basically all it's good for. So, I guess the short answer would be not really. <laughs> okay, so let's throw this in here now. It says it's for a whitelist, and we can see that we're going X. And Y and Z is minus 32. Minus 31. Y is minus 1. So I don't think it's doing what I think it's doing. Or I don't think it's doing what I wanted it to do. It's not is it putting stuff into here? No, it's not. Okay, I think what we need to do. Since I set it to whitelist, it doesn't, it's not got anything whitelisted. What I think I need to do is actually tell it uh, what kind of ore do we really need, like ore wise. Do we need a particular ore right now? Maybe gold, maybe, maybe, uh. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's, what the, the scanner is doing in there. Uh, obviously, it needs one, but if I do that. And say whitelisting this stuff, right? Let's restart that. Tin. We might need to uh, to silk touch some stuff. Okay, we need osmium. We need iron. Um, could always use some other stuff. Well, let's just let's try a few of these. Putting these ores in that list. That was a paradox of electrocuted. Oh goodness. No. Alright, let's let's put some more things in here. And then I'm gonna hit this button to restart the miner. There we go. Restart the miner. And let's see if anything pops up into there. Doesn't look like anything's happening just yet. So it's a mode whitelist, so I'm hoping that these are the actual whitelist. We don't need silk touch on because none of these things are going to require silk touch to to pick up, and it's not spitting out any dorite or cobble or anything. There we go. It picked up a piece of osmium. Okay, so that does seem to be how it works. Now I'm wondering if it's just going to keep going until it reaches the bedrock layer. I'm also kind of wondering exactly how much power it is drawn, but it doesn't seem like it's drawn a whole lot more power. Uh, yeah, this thing's it's this thing's hardly working, <laughs> hardly working. Now, if we upgrade this, wow, uh, this thing has got us a bunch of lapis. That's probably enough lapis to do the rest of the coolers that I needed to expand the reactor the rest of the way. That's nice. That's actually very nice. And I think it's done with its operation. So as much as I, I like the fact that you can make this thing right here, the advanced miner, I like the fact that you can make it, um, I'm thinking that it's definitely not as effective as a digital miner. 
but it is accessible slightly sooner slightly sooner um, and possibly like I said we can put some overclockers in here I'm assuming and then that would speed this thing up I'm sure but uh, and it doesn't seem like we can do an extremely big radius but that's okay I'll be curious to see how much more stuff shows up in there and I also think that if you do this with a black with an empty blacklist it'll just like dig everything out underneath it I think so we'll have to set it up someplace else um, like not at the base here um, and for that there are some other things that I want to uh, create uh, specifically a power cell these guys right here these power cells of course we need some prismarine for that and there is a um, guardian temple in fact right there you can see I actually have it highlighted it's only 500 meters away guardian temple uh, we can go kill a few guardians get some prismarine and that way we get a power cell oh excuse me get these power cells going and these power cells will allow us in fact how hard is a simple power cell we could do a simple power cell they are very a small amount of power but the main thing the main reason to have the power cells is because we can do a power cell card and the power cell card um, will allow you to connect two power cells over a large distance in fact we should try that real quick since we're kind of We've kind of already got our mining stuff done. Uh, Dornell has plenty of diamonds now to do to work on the next project for for the next thing. Uh, next video, we're going to be looking at doing uh, some turrets. Yeah, yeah, we'll get a little preview there. But I, I want to set up some stuff and um, use an XNet network for the power and item delivery into the turret bases. And anyway, let's let's quickly take a look at the simple power cell we can later upgrade this so that's X that's okay um, and then that other upgrade is just prismarine diamond a bunch of a bunch of redstone um, would we be at all or what would we really be losing here like the simple yeah that's actually we'd be losing quite a bit of redstone of course redstone's not hard to get how much redstone do we have we already have 350 some so if we don't want to jump right to an actual power cell hmm. you know what i think i'm going to go over to the guardian temple real quick see how effective these guns are at killing guardians what do you think hey it's on you sometimes the glider does not want to initiate Like, come on, pop out, pop out, glider. <laughs> this just doesn't want to go right now. How about if I do... Where's my player launcher? There it is. There, I got my wings out. No, I just managed to launch myself really good. Okay, well we're here. There's some guardians. Now I'm hoping. Ah, uh, you know what I need is like something to uh, to give myself underwater breathing stuff. Maybe like a aqua helmet or something. I can't see nothing under here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so hard to see. I should totally have gotten uh, a couple potions ready. I can't see you. Where did you go? Did I kill him? No. Oh, I think that's something I need to do in the daytime and with some the help of some potions or something. Something to see underwater there. Some night vision. Um, I should have some night vision goggles, I believe. All right, let's get back to the base real quick. I don't understand why my my things aren't working though. It's weird. 
I do have them on, right? Bobbles, that's not bobble, it's over here. Yeah, my glider pack. Why is my glider pack not working? It's supposed to just hold shift. There, it finally works. Very weird. I had to take it off and put it back on. But let's get something to help with the whole, um, let's see, let's see what I can find here. I believe we can do, oh, I probably don't have a salmon by any chance. That's unlikely. It's unlikely. Let's say we could do a water charm. Uh, what's the one? Air charm? No. Fire charm. So that's Sailor Void. Water charm right there. But it does require salmon. Which I don't have. Is it, is it just a salmon? Yeah, it's just a salmon. So... That would require some fishing. But there's also some other things. The main thing is the night vision. Oops. Light vision? No. We want... Night vision. Boy, if I could type. Night vision. That's just golden carrot. Redstone to make it last longer. Maybe I can make a couple potions. I believe I have some blaze rods here. And one, two, three. Oh, I still got that super slowness from uh, being over there. <laughs> Make a potion brew stand. Put it down over here for now. And I believe we should have some glass. I just gotta find it. One, two, three. Some glass bottles and fill them up out of our pitcher bot plants. And then now. Oh, you know what we don't have? Cause uh whoever went to the uh to the nether and, and sacked that uh Sack that temp or attack that fortress that I found took every last bit of of uh, stuff. What am I trying to say? Nether wart. So I don't have the nether wart. Dang it. And I'm betting that the night vision, these things uh, require a bunch of stuff that I don't have as well, and they take power. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess that's gonna have to wait for another episode. I'm sorry guys I, I was really thinking that I would just be able to like do that real quick But like everything I need to do it quickly. I just I'm short like one item <laughs> uh, Which really the item is nether work. Maybe I, maybe I can go over and find it real quick. I mean I was around the the one temple, but uh, or The the one uh, fortress, but Whoever did that did not leave any nether wart for anybody else, so I'm, I'm sure I could guess who it was, but <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure. Let's, uh, let's head over that way. We'll check again. There might have been some places that he didn't get to, like up that way. I don't. That actually looks like a different piece of fortress right there. Maybe we can. There's some. Definitely some blaze spawners there. That's nice. Now this looks like a dead end there. That looks like a, this looks like just kind of like a small fortress. Ooh, maybe down through there. Maybe back down through here somewhere. We will find something. I see you, Mr. Wither skeleton. He doesn't seem to care about me. There we go. We'll just kill him then. That works. That's not a soldier, so I don't gotta worry about him. And it's back out where I already looked. Head down this way, maybe we'll find something. Oh, hello. What is this? So looks like somebody dug through there. Where'd he go? Ooh. Reload, reload. Some 
lasers. Ouch! Burning. This is probably a good time to mention the fact that I have a brass sword from uh, the Dalek mod. This thing's pretty nice. It will uh, one-hit kill a number of mobs. Looks like somebody's been digging through here or something. Something's been going on. Oh, maybe not. There's a bunch of stuff. Nothing I really need right now. I believe I already have a void charm, so I'll leave that for the next person. What I really want is just a couple pieces of, uh, or a piece of nether, uh, nether wart. I wouldn't even need several. I just need like one. <gasps> Oh, Robo Surgeon. I already have one of those. Somebody dropped one off to me. Again, I'll leave that for the next guy because I'm nice like that. Now, the thing about the brass sword is it works on some enemies, but other enemies it is completely ineffectual against. So you got to keep that in mind. If it can't be your only weapon in your inventory because it will let you down. Ooh, there we go. There we go. There's what I'm looking for. And I'm only going to take half because I want to leave some for the next guy. Again, I'm going to be nice like that. Climbing gloves. I guess I already have those, so... This looks like maybe somebody raided that chest, because usually there's more than one item in there. There's some more. Okay, well here, I'll take half of these two. There we go. Now I've got 20 nether wart and enough uh, soul sand to set up a nice little farm. So let's head back. Uh, that's the blaze. That's one of the blaze places I've, I've marked. Looks like I didn't really need that one because there's plenty of them around. I just need to get up and out of here now. And back to the portal. Over there? Yeah. Ooh, am I about to run out of jetpack power? Pretty close. Pretty close. Um, in fact, I think I need to reload or uh, yeah Okay, I, I have a contingency for this in fact. Ooh, can I kill this guy with it? Yes Ooh, Okay, cool. I do have a contingency for this. Are we uh, safe-ish? All right, if I take that out of my inventory there or off my back for a second uh, and I get into here I have a advanced charging thing Advanced charging battery. I can put that in my inventory and that should... I think I have to have this actually in my hand or on my hotbar. Uh, does it just need to be on my hotbar? Yeah. It needs to be on my hotbar and not in my hand. How's that? There it goes. Charging it back up. There's a couple different modes that the charging batteries have. And these are uh, the IC2 things. And this is the only way I've found to uh, have additional fuel for my electric backpack uh, on the go. Unfortunately, it does require that you actually stop, take it off, and wait for it to charge, which can take a few seconds. Unfortunately, I don't need that much charge. Let's just put it back on, put it away, and we are ready to fly off. Let's. Uh, Let's keep this thing reloaded just in case we have to to do some combat again once we get there. No. Yeah, there we go. Now I can use the glider to get the rest of the way back for the most part. To kill it? Yeah. Little those little uh, flares? No. Um, embers. They're called embers. Those little guys set you on fire and stuff. We still are having an issue with this portal over here. It always brings us back on the other side of the, uh... It always brings us back on the other side there. Somewhere. And, the, and, the, and there's definitely a, a Cyberman or something over here. Every time I come out of the portal, he's, he's talking to me. You being awful quiet, Dornell. Are you uh, still there? I am busily twirling away, getting this stuff set up. Twirling away. Awesome. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to use one of these nether warts to get that initiated. I'm going to make sure that we save the rest for a nether wart farm that we'll set up over here at some point. Do that off camera. Don't need to do that right now. Oh, that's what that noise is. Whenever I open my ender sack, it sound, makes a weird noise. That's cool. 
kind of cool. And I brought some wither bones back. Cool. Okay. Um, other thing, I, I oh, one of the other things you might notice in my inventory is I do have a mining laser now. I made another one just because they're really actually pretty nice to have. They're great for uh, for digging straight lines. They also can do a three by three, um, but they do they do use up a lot of power in the three by three mode. Uh, but like if you're down and you just want to like poke a bunch of holes in the walls and the down in the caves someplace looking for whatever it is you're looking for, they're a good way to do it. Uh, not super necessary since you have uh, the ability to do the ore excavation in a 3x3 pattern. And you can just carry a whole bunch of stone pickaxes and burn through those almost as easily. Almost as easily. Mining laser is definitely a little faster if you're just like trying to, because you don't have to keep getting another one out. <laughs> you just have to make sure you have a way to reload it. In fact, that uh, that was one of the other reasons I was building uh, the advanced ch or the uh, charging battery. The problem is, is I've only got a tier two battery, and the laser is tier three power. So I need to upgrade it once again. Yeah, we was waiting on diamonds, but now that we have the digital miners, the way that diamonds are not going to be an issue. I am curious, though, now that some time has passed, what this thing is doing down here. Okay, it's now down Y negative 2. I'm assuming that's 2 underneath where it currently is at. So I'm pretty sure it's it's digging out the area like directly beneath it. And I'm curious as to whether it's going to go all the way to bedrock, but I'll have to give you a report on that during the next episode. If we look in the inventory, we have gathered some tin, some copper, some iron, and osmium because those are the things, some of the things I put on the whitelist. But now I need a carrot and some gold nuggets. Find one of these that doesn't have anything going on in it. That can be a difficult thing sometimes. Uh, make my golden carrot. Toss that in, in. Oh, yep, I totally forgot. I gotta put blaze powder in it. That's the thing that's been added in Minecraft not too long ago. Uh, there we go. Now it'll, now it'll go. Let's put those nuggets back away. We'll just wait a few seconds on this. We'll add the carrot, and then we're gonna add a piece of redstone to give it the extension of the time extension, I believe. Yes, that one would be. Yeah, that'd be the redstone. So then the carrot. We'll get some uh, some night vision. I wonder how hard water breathing is. I don't have any fish, I don't think. And it probably takes a fish. Water breathing. It takes a puffer fish, specifically. Okay, definitely don't have that. Um, could do a scuba thing. I wonder if the scuba helm from Industrial Craft would actually... Give me water breathing. That's a good thing. To, that would be an interesting thing to test. Maybe I should take that with me just to just to see. I'll take that with us. Just this, this the helmet. We might need the whole suit. Might need the whole suit. In fact, let's let's take the whole suit just in case. We'll get we'll do two tests. Do it one with just the helmet and one with the entire suit. But that'll give us our night vision, so we can actually see those stupid uh, fish and I'm probably invisible to Donnell right now since I went to the nether and came back so he didn't even notice I was going but I was walking right by him <laughs> all right let's get the night vision oh yeah look at that we can see clearly under the water now everything I can see clearly now I've drank some potion <laughs> terrible okay hopefully that's not going to be the ugh it doesn't seem to help at all okay very minimally at least I can see clearly on the outside of the water here that's the guy I want to kill okay let's uh, let's try with the scuba just the scuba helm does that do anything no does that do anything no Oh, am I going to get back to the surface before I... Oh, come on. I'm going up! There we go. Ooh. 
Okay, well that didn't help at all. You would think that that would uh, have some some good effect, but nope, not that much. And I got the debuff again for the for the for the mining. Let's see if we can get this guy. There's one of the bosses right on the other side of the wall there. At least I can get out of the water fast with the rot with the uh Man, these guys have a lot of hit points. Where'd he go? I wonder if I hit him with the the sword if it would just insta kill him. Come here, you. So hard to get him. Yes, yes it does. <laughs> okay, well, that's probably a much more effective way of getting these. But there we go, we've gotten two. Now I really need to make two power cells to demonstrate this whole thing if we uh, if we want to demonstrate the whole thing. Let's go for this guy down here. Maybe I can get down to him before... Uh, there's no point in wasting it. Or there's no point in wasting more ammo. Let's see if we can just uh, get him with the sword. Oh, no, 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 I'm drowning. Up out of the water, up out of the water. Ah, woo, just barely. And we're out of jetpack fuel. Whew, that was, that was close. Well, anyway, I think we've probably gone long enough on this. I've gotten a couple of Prismarine. Uh, you know what I'm going to do with it. We'll get that ready for the beginning of the next episode basically so I think at this point we're gonna wrap this up because yeah we've, we've already gone long enough we've demonstrated a few things and we've got ready for the next one a bit so anyway guys thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this make sure you hit that like button don't forget to leave a comment and until next time I will catch you later goodbye